Hi you guys, Lindsay here. Welcome back to my channel, Inside the Hem. I'm so excited. We have the Vogue, um, I think they call it Winter Holiday Collection, was just released a few hours ago. And I am so excited to look through it and see what they have for us for the next few months. So let's jump right in. Yeah, Winter Holiday Collection. These, um, from what I've seen sneak peek wise on Instagram, are very glamorous. So, okay, the first one we have here is a Badgley Mishka design. Um, it looks like it's like off the shoulder with like these really cool grommet details. And then this, I don't know what shape that is, very beautiful on her figure. Um, and then this like large flounce. Do you guys attend a lot of like galas or like charity events during the holidays? I think a lot of these um, are going to depend on kind of just your lifestyle and if you'd be able to work, you know, it in. But here's um, a closer look at the details of the grommet. They did it in like a velvet ribbon too, which is actually really stunning. Um, I don't know that black photographs very well, but um, I can imagine in person this being really pretty. Um, to get it, it's actually kind of hard to see like all the design details in this little box here. Here we go. So yeah, it's just one view. Um, very simple in the front um, with you know, no shaping or seam lines there. But in the back, we have a center back seam. And then also these, I can assume, fisheye darts um, here to give you that lovely waist shaping that I'm always harping about. There's a center back zipper, and then you can see how the grommets and the ties are, are tied in there. Very elegant, very beautiful. You know, I can see if you like cut this at the knee, how it could go a little bit more casual and wouldn't have to be like a formal gown. Um, but yeah, the grommeting is, is very interesting to me. You know, it's kind of like elegant, but with like a little bit of edge. Okay, next up we have, let's just look at the full view of all of them. Um, another Badgley Mishka design. Wow. Okay. So this, whoa, let me take all this in. All right. So we have got a, well, another black dress, which again is hard to see, but we've got a, you know, high crew neckline, long sleeve, a bejeweled wrist. Then we've got a gathered like gathered to one side skirt with a huge bow. I mean, that is something else. I can tell you now I have nowhere to wear this. <laughs> it is beautiful. I wonder if you hand sew all those on. Oh my gosh. Okay. Fits her beautifully. It's got this little go day. I guess, in the back. It does look like they're, oh, so it's two pieces. There's a top and then a skirt. Well, that's interesting. Let's see the line. Oh, not a go day, by the way. It's just some um, shaping with the fabric interesting I love that it's two separate pieces the top does have a little bust dart and then the skirt is really it's hard to tell with the bow in the way but it looks like it's just got some ruching on the hip <coughs> <coughs> skirt B is fitted through hip and lined with center, back, invisible zipper, and train, and features pleat detail on the left hip and front waistband and bow accent. 
So yeah, there's something going on under the bow here that is causing all of this like this bunching effect or whatever. That's really interesting. I love a two piece. I think that that's very versatile and I don't know, just really interesting. You could wear this with like some really nice like satin pants. Um, you could even figure out a way to like maybe dress this down possibly. Um, I don't know. It depends on like where you're going. Where are you going in this? <laughs> Okay, now we've got a little shift dress from Isaac Mizrahi. I typically love his designs. So let's see what he's got. All right, so we've got a little shift dress with a little flounce here and then like a tiered sleeve. Um, kind of like a boat neck or a bateau neckline. Um, it says the dress is lined. Let's see what the back looks like. A little keyhole back. This is really pretty. It doesn't have the shaping that I like to see, which is kind of disappointing for a Vogue pattern. Um, but I mean, it is what it is, I guess. <clears throat> so yeah, you can see if you kind of try and ignore this flounce, you've just got a basic shift dress with a sleeve and then like, you know, another layer of a sleeve. And then this is sewn on top of that. I love it all in one fabric. I think that that's really nice and elegant, but I could also see this in like, what if you did it like ombre where this was like a baby blue, a medium blue and a dark blue or, you know, any variation of the colors like red, like with pink and orange and red or, I don't know, I could see this in like a lot of really fun colorways to kind of call out all of that detail. Very cool. But of course, I would add um, some fisheye darts to the back. Excellent. Here's another Isaac Mizrahi. This is like my go-to... Um, Okay, I love this. This is like my go-to uh, type of dress, you know, fit and flare. And this little coat over top is everything. I am in love with how cute and simple but really preppy this little coat is. Oh, my gosh. Look at the dress. So cute. Um, kind of flirty with this little notched collar. And then this pleat detail in the front mimics this little V here. So your eye just goes whoop right up to your face. This has a lovely waist seam giving you all the shaping. Pockets, of course. Oh, I am so in love. And this fabric they use that kind of looks like gunmetal is like giving me very much like armor vibes. Like this woman is a boss. Look at those back darts, darts in the back of the skirt. So clearly there's a side zipper or something somewhere. Okay, maybe not the best fit on the coat in the back, which is a shame because look at all of these seams. They should have been able to get it to fit a little bit better. Two-piece sleeve. There's a lot of opportunities here to get this right, but I get they're just making like, a sample and hoping it works on the model but so but by looking at this I would think if you had like wider shoulders um, this would fit you a lot better than it fits her looks great in the front though I love this one so much and I love that it's matchy matchy again but I think it could be really great in like contrasting fabrics as well there are so many beautiful brocades out there these days. Um, I'm sure that that's what they're recommending. Let's see if there's anything else. Jacquard, Shantung, wool crepe. So actually they're not recommending brocade at all, but brocade would absolutely work. Um, oh, and no lining. Oh, no, there is a lining. Okay. 
they don't have any, they don't suggest any fabrics for the linings. Love that. <clears throat> Ooh, here's another really nice one at first glance. And we have two pieces, again, a fitted top and a semi-fitted skirt. The top has gorgeous shaping. Look at that really nice princess seam. Center front seam. <coughs> Jeez. Like a wide v-neck, um, three-quarter sleeves. I mean, look at her body in this. She looks like a million bucks. And then the skirt is like a little bit below knee length. Here's some of the shaping on the back, and it's not a set in sleeve. It's actually a dolman sleeve, and then a lovely little V in the back, too. Is that the zipper tab? Yeah, that whole thing unzips. And it also unzips backwards, like you zip it down. So I guess you unzip it to some certain point in here because the V is so large, it fits over your head and then you zip it down to close it. Interesting. Here are the seam details of the skirt, which you can't really tell from the pictures, but it's got like this side panel and then also a, like a princess seam, I guess, in the back and a center back seam and a little vent. It's also... I guess like high-waisted too, this would come up higher. Very elegant, I love this, very chic. Paco Peralta <clears throat> design. Here's a Belleville Sassoon uh, by Lorcan Mullaney. I don't, I've never heard of him or her, but this is really cute. So we've got our little seam details of like a princess seam, but also like kind of this like raglan seam and also a set in sleeve. So there's lots of opportunities to add these like sheer insets, which is cute. And then I want to say this is a mermaid. I always get confused between mermaid and trumpet, but you know, a fitted skirt that flares on the bottom, like below your hip. There's the back, the center back zipper. There she is looking fabulous. That's really cute. Again, another black. Oh, and it's knit. It's a knit dress. High neckline, which is nice. I think that's so elegant. Look how pretty this looks. Again, with like monochromatic is all good and very elegant for the holidays and all of that, but you could absolutely make this more casual um, in something in, in like a print with like solid piping or I guess that's called piping um, or seam detail, they're calling it. What did they use? Matte jersey, Ponte silk jersey, obviously. Contrast mesh, invisible zipper, and then they're calling it flat trim. Not sure if that would be something they would sell at our local Joanne or not, but looks cool in the leather. But maybe you could make your own. I don't know what flat trim looks like, uh, like in the raw. All right, next up is a Tom and Linda Platt design. Wow, very 70s, right? Are y'all getting a 70s vibe from this? So we've got some seam details. It looks like a little collar set in sleeve and then like a little pant. Asymmetrical hemline. This is interesting how they use both sides of the crepe back satin. So this is the crepe side and this is the satin side. It's the same fabric, just using opposite sides. Center back zip on the, on the top. 
The pants look like they have a lot of seaming as well. I want to know what the top of the pants look like. There's an actual waistband. Oh, look at that. It's like asymmetrical in the pants too. So you get one side with a seam and the other side has double darts. But on the skirt, this is this the the asymmetrical only applies to the front. The back is symmetrical. I don't know why they didn't mimic this on the skirt, but either way, neither here nor there. Um, the top also has this little slit, which I didn't notice before. Interesting. I don't, I don't know that this, um, style is for me, but I can see someone else in it and they would look awesome. Um, especially in like a winter white, I think would be really beautiful and very chic, still very holiday. Um, it is interesting though. I feel like it's one of those things that the more I look at it, the more I would fall in love with it and maybe convince myself that I do need it after all. <laughs> okay, next is Anne Klein. We've got a jacket and pant. The jacket looks like there are no closures, possibly. And the pant seems very fitted. That's a cool detail. Center back seam, and then also this horizontal one that kind of is like a peplum-esque. No close-ups of the pants. Okay, so yeah, so no, it's like a tuxedo jacket, really. You've got, you know, this little collar, no closures, welt pockets, princess seam, two-part sleeve, and then all this lovely seaming in the back. And then the pants, I imagine, yeah, are made from like a ponty. They're kind of like pull-on, like really nice pull-on leggings is really what they are. Um, especially if you made them in a really nice ponty or like, you know, a, a more substantial knit. Let's see what they're recommending. Crepe, gabardine, wool flannel for the top, and then for the pants, ponty knit and wool jersey. Shoulder pads in the jacket, and then elastic for the waist band of the pants. I could see you making these pants and wearing them as leggings, like, you know, doesn't have to be super elegant outfit. And then this jacket would be great in just about anything for a myriad of different outfits. I mean, even if you put the jacket with jeans and made it out of like a really fun fabric, or if you made it out of like a, um, like a Chanel type fabric, that would be really cute. It is a little on the long side for me, but I think it's lower in the front than it is in the back. Like that looks scooped a little bit to me, but I do like it. Very chic. Okay, Zandra Rhodes. This looks like fun. Wow, okay. I mean, I know with Zandra, like, we're going to get some crazy details. This is no exception with this crazy collar and whatever all of these little dangly things are. The shape is really cool. I'm digging the shape a lot. Look how cute it is in the back. I mean, it has that huge... I don't even know what to call it. And then these sleeves, these sleeves, wow. It's cute though, right? They styled it really well with like the ponty pant and then these little pointy toe um, flats. No provisions provided for above waist adjustments. <laughs> I bet not. So from what I can tell, you like quilt this thing yourself. That's really interesting. It's just like a ton of top stitching. And then what are these ropes? 18 and a half yards of cording and then beads. So it's just like cording and then beads with little knots tied on the top and bottom. 
And then I, the cording, I guess, is sewn into these four parts. Let's go back to the line art. There's a cord sewn into each of these little points of the collar. So interesting. I get real intrigued by like really bizarre patterns like this where I, I just want to challenge myself to make it look awesome. I mean, this, I would wear this green version. I don't, I don't have anything against that. Um, but I want to see if it really is wearable. You know, it's kind of like when you see stuff on the runway and you're like, how would that look in real life? It's kind of like that. Like if I showed up to the grocery store in this, would people be like, what is she wearing? Or would they be like, wow, she looks so cool. <laughs> um, Okay, so taffeta, jacquard, shantung for the body. And then it looks like this is quilted with some sew-in fleece. Interesting. How much? Yeah, a lot of fabric for the, oh, they're calling it a jacket. Uh, a little more than three yards. Do you pull it over your head? Or does it have closures? I can't tell that either. It says one large snap. So I'm assuming that it snaps right here. Very tempting. Okay, now we've got a very easy Vogue. Mrs. Top dress and pants. So we've got a wrap dress. Or tunic. There it is in a print. It looks like elasticized waist. And then we're not going to get anybody in a pant. Okay. So here's the tunic. Here's the dress. Pretty basic stuff there. And then the pants have no waistband and no darts. Oh, Lord. Well... I guess they're just, I don't know, shaped really well through here. I don't know about that. Where do they even, are they, oh, two-way stretch. So they're knit pants. I was like, how in the world? <laughs> I'm like trying to wrap my head around that. Um, they do have an elastic, a bit of elastic in there in the top to hold it in. Interesting. I kind of feel like this is just like any other wrap dress pattern you might have. It's just in a holiday type fabric, you know? But if you don't have a wrap dress, this one looks like maybe some issues would be happening with the wrap portion itself. Like you would want to redraft it to kind of come in a little more. Or maybe you like this deep V. Okay, here we go. This is a Mrs. Dress with like cape sleeves. Love. It also has ampere waist and like, is that like a little mock wrap? Here it is in a crew neck. Little bust starts, huge bubble sleeves, and a super cute A-line skirt. And then I think this is the version that she's wearing. This is just a little bit drapier fabric than what she's got. This one is like a brocade or a jacquard or something. Um, and this is just drawn to be a little bit drapier. And then a regular zipper. Here's the, you know, ampere waist seam. It looks like little darts right there. Baby hems on the cape or sleeve or whatever we're calling it. I don't know. This could be really cool. I don't love the sample, to be honest. It looks a little samurai, you know, but I do like where the drawing is going. Um, neckline finish with purchase bias tape. 
this version is really cute too. I don't know. Yeah, I feel like if the fabric was a little bit drapier, we would we would be more in business here. But at the same time, you don't want it too drapey because this shape of the skirt is so cute. Like maybe you could do like a contrast. Like if you if they kept this in this jacquard fabric and then did this like in a sheer um, black or red or something, maybe I'm trying to think if you did contrasting fabric substrates to give a drapier sleeve so it wasn't so like uh stiff looking I guess like that's just not all that flattering to me I just imagine those things like feeling like they were in the way all the time the base the bodice and skirt of the dress is really cute though okay now we've got a very fun, like flamingo looking type skirt. So remember that Badgley Mishka top we saw at the front of the, or the beginning of the video. You could also pair it with this and have a completely different look. Okay, fitted lined wrap skirt with yoke, back darts, and hook and bar closure. Features lined flounces and length variations. So this is obviously the full length version. There it is again. Super cute midi length. And then a uh, knee length. Excellent. Those are cute. What are we? Oh. Oh. It literally wraps around you and hooks in and that's it. And you hope for the best that those hooks <laughs> don't come undone. Interesting. Well, I bet it's easy to sew. There's not even a side seam. Taffeta, shantung, or broadcloth. I mean, I'm sure that they could extend that list to be just about anything. God, four and a half yards for the long version. Six yards for the lining. That's amazing. I don't think I've ever bought six yards of anything. Yeah, I I don't know what kind of fabric this is that they used for their sample, but I, I don't like the print. I also don't really like red and black together. This is all just personal. But I do like how drapey it is. I think that that is what you need to look for whenever you're shopping for fabric. If it has no drape to it, then they're all just going to stick out. But this is like really drapey and the tears look really pretty. Let's see the front. And I guess that's where it hooks. Right there, kind of like off to the side. Interesting. That could be really fun. Fun party skirt. Okay, now we've got a vintage pattern. Look at her in all her like 20s glory. Look at that. That is just amazing. All tucks, pin tucks. Oh, fabulous. I don't, again, with the styling though, like we get it, it's vintage, <laughs> you know, like I don't need the pose with the hat, you know what I mean? Like, super cute though, super cute, original 19, oh, 40s, 1947 design, not 20s. How are these different? Anybody? I'm like playing that game where you're like trying to find the difference between the two photos and I don't see one. Um, oh, the sleeves. The sleeves. Very cute. Okay. Custom fit, which I love. Okay, what is going on here? So it looks like a shirt dress with sleeves. 
variations and skirt variations. So we've got like just a regular sleeve here, buttoned down all the way. It looks like princess darts or princess seams with darts, which is excellent. I love that. Forward shoulder. Uh, these look like pleats. Oh, that's beautiful. I love that one. That is so nice. And then this is just a very, very wide bell sleeve. Same with that. Cute. See, so you could wear it in the winter with this one. And then wear it again in the spring with this one. That's cute. With the cup, um, with the custom fit where you get like the different cup sizes and this seaming here, you guys are all going to get a perfect fit no matter if you're like a double A or like a triple D, um, you could get this to fit you really easily. That's cute. Yeah, I think it's just like a very wide bell sleeve. I love these two versions here. Cute. It also has a back yoke that I didn't mention and back princess seams. Double darts in the back skirt, which is nice for those of us that have, you know, pear shapes. Um, gabardine, flannel, crepe and or ponting it. It'd be beautiful in a crepe for sure. Okay, today's fit by Sandra Bazzina. It looks like we have a kimono. Yep. That's a kimono. I kind of, um, I never really got into the kimonos to be honest. I mean, that's cute. That's a cute outfit. But like, I don't know. It doesn't like overwhelm me, you know, like I'm not like, oh yeah, I really need to make a kimono, you know. Um, here they are. I do like this collar, this type of collar. Two belts. Um, belts in two widths so you can pick your belt all right now we have Kuz Vendenacker any Dutch is that not a Dutch name <laughs> Kuz Vendenacker um, is this a jacket oh reversible jacket that's fun with all this applique, I feel like I remember this something of his from last winter that had like all this pattern matching and stuff going on. There it is as just like a solid. I guess that might be the inside. Okay, I'm getting it now. I think that they are really cool. Oh no, something's on her pants. Oh, bummer, she sat on something. I had hoped it was just on my screen, but it's not. Um, anyways, about the jacket. Uh, this would take a lot of thought. This is like cording sewn on or something. I don't know. There's so many parts to this that I'm just like, it is, yeah, advanced, you think? Um, just very overwhelming for me to consider. I mean, look, there are eight different fabrics. That's insane. I just don't have it in me to like do all that. Look at all those. Oh, my word. Um, so for the body of the jacket, 
medium weight wools or boucle and then contrasting fabrics and then synthetic leather for whatever seven and eight are parts of this flower yeah it's just a little too much for me but like if you make it I want to see it because I bet it will look really freaking cool okay Vogue wardrobe which I love these because you literally get an entire capsule wardrobe in one pattern. It is like the most bang for your buck. Um, it looks like we're going to get a jacket, a top, a dress, pants, and a jumpsuit. That's five pieces in one pattern. So if you wait for that Joanne sale and you, you know, get them for $5 or whatever they are, that's a dollar a pattern or a dollar a garment, however you want to look at it. So here's our cute little dress, love. Oh, look at the top, wow. Oh, love that. Although she looks really upset. This looks great together. This by itself, meh, I don't know. Where are the pants? Where are the pants? Look at the fit on her jacket. That's how it's supposed to fit. Not like the other one. The dress is cute. Raglan sleeve. Oh my goodness. It's like... This woman who makes this capsule wardrobe is like a boss at work and then like the most chic, fun, cool girl on the weekends. <laughs> you know what I mean? And then like, I don't know, goes to church or something. <laughs> um, it's, it's interesting. I don't know that I would wear the top or jacket. It, they're just not... They're a little too maybe 80s for me, but I love the dress, obsessed with these pants, and this jumpsuit is everything. The jumpsuit is everything. Golly. I, I could be convinced to like the jacket. The top, I don't know. Maybe it's just this. I do like them together, but look at the jacket over the jumpsuit. Look how cool that looks. I think that was our first picture here that I didn't really realize what was going on. I mean, that's a cool look. Again, with a red and black, not my fave. But um, that's, I don't know. I really like this one. This is a smart buy, in my opinion. So... Oh, they're, they're not even separating them by garment. So you can make the dress, the top, the jacket, the jumpsuit, the pants from crepe, ponte, or crepe back satin. But I mean, obviously, too, you could like make this dress out of anything you would normally make fit and flare dresses from. You could make the jacket out of, you know, something like um, jacquard or, you know, something dressier it doesn't have to be all the same fabric, but yeah, this is really cool. I like this one. Let's look at the line art again. I love a little elbow dart too. It's such an easy thing to add to the pattern and so few people do it. Oh, gosh, yeah. The more I look at it, the more I'm like, I need this. Even the dress is unlike anything I have. It's, it doesn't even have a waist seam, but all this seaming gives you that fit and flare look. Cool. I like that one a lot. Okay, Claire Schaefer. 
jacket. Hmm. Well, I mean, everything's just very oversized. So we have a huge collar, a huge button, huge pocket. The fit is really nice. Notched collar, front and back princess seams, welt pockets, two-piece sleeve, instructions written by Claire Schaefer. That might be interesting. Semi-lined, partially interfaced. No side seams. They have these side panels instead. Yeah, I just don't know if I like the very big details. The idea of it is great. It makes me want to go look at the rest of Claire Schaefer's stuff. But maybe not this one. I don't know. What do you guys think? Maybe if like... Okay. Go with me here. But maybe if like you... I don't know how to say it. Like these bigger details might look better on someone with a bigger frame... You know, not necessarily plus size or anything like that, but like if you are a taller woman or broader woman, maybe these details would look better on you. I mean, this woman is just very thin and petite, and I feel like these are all overwhelming her frame. Like when I look at this, I just see the collar. Like I don't even really see her face. I just see the collar. Does that make sense? But I do feel like you would get a really well-drafted jacket regardless of the details, you know? Okay, a Marcy Tilton, I'm guessing this is like a cape. It's a coat. Okay, so we've got an asymmetrical hem, button front, something going on here with a collar, cuffed sleeves, drop shoulder, that's cute and like a little sweater knit. What is this though? What is happening here? Uh, one pocket? <laughs> okay. This is a like wrap around, like no side seam. It kind of wraps around something. Okay. This is just, I can't tell whether that looks intentional or if it looks like you missed a button. You know what it looks, you know what happens to your shirt when you skip a, when you skip a buttonhole? That's kind of what it looks like to me, but it is stitched down. So maybe, I don't know, it's hard to, it's hard to tell. It looks like one side has a side seam with a side seam pocket indicated by this line here. And then the other side has this wraparound thing with this kind of pocket. So that's kind of cool. I'm guessing these are just different lengths. Well, that's a different color. I don't know. I kind of think it would be a really cool raincoat, you know, like making it. But the sweater knit version is really cute too. I don't know. I kind of, all, it's growing on me. It's definitely growing on me. This could be a really cool layering piece. Definitely visually interesting. Definitely not like stuff you find in the stores. Um, this is a little bit tame for Marcy Tilton. Her stuff can be a little bit wild. But I think I like it. I think I like it a lot. I would totally make this. I love this version and this is giving me raincoat vibes, which I think would be really cool. And then with those Ponty knit pants from earlier and a knee high boot, why not? That's a cute outfit. I like this one. Okay. Now we've got Elizabeth Gillette. I'm guessing it's a hard G. Scarves, shrug, and kimono. So this must be the shrug. God, I haven't seen a shrug in so long. Oh, there's our scarf. Okay. 
another version of the shrug, maybe? Okay. I'm just going to flip through these pictures. You guys can kind of get the picture here, what's happening. Well, it couldn't be simpler to make. Um, she just did a really good job of finding very interesting fabrics. Is that purchased fringe? Yeah, fringe trim. It looks like macrame. So maybe somewhere like M&J trim would have something like that. Okay. Oh, hello, Dirty Dancing. You remember that movie where she wears this dress? Baby, this is nice. I'm sad that they didn't make an actual sample, but I kind of love it. Where's the back? Oh, see, you would think the back was like a halter. I love it even more that it's not a halter, that you actually have fabric covering your back. <gasps> you guys, there's really not much to, to take in visually here, but I really like this. Fitted, unlined, with length variations, has back zipper and hook and eye, pleated bodice, circle skirt, which you know I love, stitched hem and pockets, purchased by his tape finishes armholes. But P.S., you could also easily make a lining for this. More like an underlining, but with, but sewn like a lining. Because in a perfect world, you would have a lining that didn't have all this pleating in it also. But I don't know how to start drafting that. Maybe someone does, not me. I'm not advanced enough for that yet. But you could easily just make a second bodice and then sew them right sides together and turn them out like you would any other lining. Huh. This is really cute. Crate back satin, rayon chalet, lightweight broadcloth. Yeah. Silky, drapey, soft, flowy. Those are the kinds of fabrics you're looking for. Love it. I kind of love the gray too. Oh gosh. I'm liking a lot of these, you guys. Look at this coat. I'm in trouble. Okay. Button front swing top. They're calling it a top. There. Fine. Coat top. Depends on what fabric you use. With raglan sleeves. With variations. Okay, let's see the variations. I just love, love, love a funnel neck. And I love a wide kind of baby doll silhouette. Oh, my God. Okay, we just got transported to the 80s. Not sure how I feel about that one. That's cute. That's more of a top to me. Okay, so three sleeve variations. And this one's definitely the winner. 100% hands down. I have to make that. Here are our line drawings. Love it. Broadcloth, shantung, sateen. Yeah, you want something with some body to it so that it will keep this shape. If it's too drapey or too lightweight, it'll just fall close to the body. You want something that's going to kind of flare out. Two snaps, buttons. Not a super ton of yardage. That's cool. I like that one. All right, now we've got a little top. There's a lot of patterns in this collection. This is cool. Pullover top with stand-up collar, neck facings, features, sleeve bands, cut on the cross grain, and bias overlay option. Okay. Drop shoulder too. 
So this is just the base, and then you can also add this overlay if you want. I mean, okay, <laughs> I don't know. Um, sure. What kind of fabrics? Crepe de Chine, matte jersey, silk broadcloth. So lightweight, drapey type fabrics for the ones with the overlay. Alrighty. All right, here is a today's fit. Pajamas? Yeah. Nightgown with uh, fitted self-lined bodice. Empire waist features gathered skirt with length and fabric variations. Oh, like a jersey here and a and a uh, chalet here or something. Contrast front and back skirt panels with scalloped lace overlay. Is that this? I know it's on the top. I don't know what a scalloped lace overlay on front panel and scalloped lace detail around neck. Oh, it must be another version that we don't see yet. Contrast side panels on the pant. Let's just look at the pictures. There's our scallop lace. Wow. Okay. Okay. It's cute. I don't know. I, I mean, yeah, I would wear... Um, I do like wearing like longer tops to bed. I don't know about one with this much volume around the, in the skirt. This is too much. I would never wear that to bed. But I guess like a house coat, like around the house, it would be cute. All right. Next page is a Ron Collins men's jacket. So we're not going to talk too much about this. I don't usually go into the men's patterns very much. But if you're making gifts, um, here is a cool, like, puffer bomber jacket for the dude in your life. This guy. Wow. Okay. Um, anyways, there are way too many <laughs> good options for all the patterns that I didn't buy in the fall. I think I bought one pattern from the fall collections. I will make up for that in this collection alone. I am obsessed with this here. I also really do like this with some adjustments, but I do like that one a lot. This one, love. This one, super cool. Um, maybe a make it work moment with this guy. There are so many. This top slash jacket, this dress, definitely getting added to the collection. So yeah, overall, I am really loving this. As always, I'm curious to know what you guys think. Um, if you're going to speak about a specific pattern, try to reference something about the pattern, like for this one, say the evening gown with grommets versus the pattern number, because I just would never memorize them all. And I'd like to know exact, I just get a lot of comments. So I need to know what pattern you're talking about right away so that I can understand what you're what you're talking about. So reference something about the pattern more so than the pattern number, but let me know what you guys are loving. Um, if anybody has any events where you think you might wear one of these gowns, please fill me in on that. I would love to know um, about, you know, your, your goals for evening wear. Um, and yeah, that's going to do it for me. I presume there will be other winter holiday collections. Um, maybe McCall's might have one. Um, maybe they all have one. I'm not, I can't remember who does them and who doesn't. Um, but hopefully I can pretty much guarantee, um, that we will have more first impression videos coming here very shortly. Um, I am going to be planning a sew along for one of the holiday patterns. 
So I'm going to try and take in as many of them as I can before um, I actually have to make a decision in order to keep the schedule. I'm thinking that the first video will launch later this month. So stay tuned for that. Um, let me know what you feel about the Vogue holiday, winter holiday collection, and I will see you all very soon. Bye!